Who's here? Let's get this party started. You had me at a low Cause where you go is where I go I don't need nobody else Hello my angels, my friends! I am going to go do something that I've never done before in my entire life. I'm gonna go try on wedding dresses. I'm bringing my mom and a couple of my bridesmaids who live a little bit closer to this salon with me. And I just kind of wanted to make a little note before I go in because I'm feeling like a ton of emotions. I'm feeling like hesitation, I'm feeling excitement, I'm feeling a little bit of like confusion and overwhelm and I just want to say that if anyone is going through this dress process and maybe you're watching this video because you're like, hey same, I'm there too, I wonder what other people are doing, um, totally okay babe if you're feeling a little overwhelmed. So I'm going to go pick up my mom, I'm literally on her street right now and let's get this party started. What do you think I'm gonna wear? I would love to know what kind of dress you guys think I'm gonna wear down below because I don't even know yet. I don't even know yet. Future Amanda, I hope you figured it out. <laughs> Whenever you're lonely, just pick up the phone and call me. I'll be there. Girl, let me show you. You're my one and only, like I told you. We're in the Modern Bride right now. There's a couple of different rooms that you can try things on. It's so beautiful. Mom's all ready to go. She was also prepared. She brought her slippers, which is so cute. This room is just the most stunning thing you've ever seen. But I think someone else is trying on dresses in here or presenting their dresses in here. So, I mean, that would be the dream. But I will just sneak in here for a quick second before our stylist comes. And our stylist's name is Sarah. So, and Becca was like, I'm just trying to figure out how you're talking, and my girl's gonna hear me. You give me hope. The nudie thing? Yeah. What if we tried something like this too? That's like kind of princessy, yeah. like orchardy, but also has some of the details. What do you think about this one, Mom? Yeah, so Mom's pick is this one. <laughs> she really likes oh, this, yeah. this full lace one. So these are my picks. I think we chose around six. And I'm um, gonna try all of those on. Sarah's gonna come down in the elevator separately and um, we're gonna go through every single one. I gave every single person a pick and Sarah got two picks. Yeah. <laughs> And this is like kind of shoddy work. You're just up on a little scented candle and I'm sitting on the floor. But that's honestly kind of the vibes for just digesting what I think just happened. Trying on your first wedding dress is so interesting. 
and overwhelming and amazing and it's honestly this weird mix i was telling scotty i called him all the way home after dropping off my mom and i was saying it's this weird mix of like nostalgia that you haven't had because you're picturing like brides that you watched through growing up in pop culture and what you maybe pictured yourself as a bride. So that like kind of brings about this weird connection and nostalgia to maybe like a certain type of dress or experience. And then you also have all of these expectations. And then you also have all of the experiences of just seeing other brides in through movies and scenes and like what your romanticized version of trying on a wedding dress should be like and i would say it is <laughs> rosie's just like destroying her puppy over here i would say it is very overwhelming so if you are going to try on a wedding dress it's gonna be so much fun like don't be too nervous just say yes to trying on a bunch of things this was the first time that i had tried on a wedding dress so for me i was truly trying to figure out like what do i want what even looks good on me what could i maybe envision for the space and what i found a couple things to really help me narrow it down because i was also explaining to scotty um you could like a bunch of different types of dresses. You could be like, I love a ball gown for this. I love a mermaid for this. I love a fit and flare for that, an A-line for that. Like there are so many different types of cuts and colors and lace and glitter and simplicity and minimalism and all of these different types of dresses that you could get and could realistically fall in love with. But something that really helped me nail it, narrow it down was thinking of my venue for an example, and, and there were definitely some elements of each dress that I'm like, or like of the dream dress that I definitely was asking for or looking for when we were scouring through the dress choices. It's also hilarious how exhausting <laughs> trying on all these wedding dresses is. So I would say if you can, maybe try to go for an earlier appointment. My appointment started at 4.30 and I actually kind of think maybe an 11 a.m. appointment would be the most ideal time or 10.30 because you're just gonna try on so many, so many dresses. I went to the Modern Bride in Guelph and you have an hour and a half and we actually got to extend our time just a touch because we were the last of the day anyway. So maybe that's a benefit of going a little bit later. But I went in saying, I'm just gonna try on absolutely anything because I want to figure out what I want and I also want to eliminate some options. So for I'll give you one example because I don't want to give away anything about what I really want in my dress. Um, I tried on like a square neckline and it just truly wasn't for me. So I'm like, great, anytime you see a square neckline, no, nope, that dress isn't for me, I already know this. And it was honestly so educational and wonderful to just be able to go try on all these dresses. The first dress that I actually tried on in the change room, I was like, oh my gosh, I am trying on a wedding dress right now, this is so crazy. And I even said to the sales associate, I was like, am I gonna cry right now? Also, there are a couple of things. The good thing is these sales associates are incredible. They're honestly angels, angels. They're gonna be so positive and so wonderful with you, but you are gonna get down to your skivvies with them. <laughs> like, no bra, literally just had my nude thong on, was just trying on all these dresses. It was just so hilarious, like jumping in and out of these dresses um, and being like, oh no, next one. But they're just so wonderful. They'll never make you feel uncomfortable in through the process. At least I hope that they don't. And they'll just set it up so you can kind of just like hop out of one and hop into the next one. I just wasn't mentally ready for that. <laughs> I don't think I had like, <laughs> mentally prepared for those moments. But she was so great because Sarah was the sales associate name that I had and she was so wonderful. And I got to just try on so many different types of dresses. Definitely the biggest piece of advice is give it a go, especially if you don't know what you want. And if you do know what you want, that's the bullseye. You've got to try on that type of dress absolutely first. So you can kind of narrow down, oh, okay, is this actually the road I want to go down? And as well, try on different types of that dress. Like we tried on quite a few fitted dresses, for example, and A-line dresses, for example, of different styles and laces and designs and beads and all this stuff and necklines because that way you can kind of not just nix a type of dress immediately, but you can really give it a shot until you figure it out, okay, wait, actually this isn't what I want, but the element of this dress I'd like to bring into the one that I that I really, really do want. It, it will be under overwhelming and I feel overwhelmed and I'm so lucky because my bridesmaids who came with me, a few of my friends and my mom, of course, um, 
they took pictures and videos and everything because I definitely want to show you guys everything to do with what I chose and what I didn't choose after the wedding because I love seeing those videos, the ones where it's like the ones I didn't choose. I love being nosy and seeing what people didn't choose. But as Rosie masked out on her dinner, but what I will say is I think that was really helpful too because now tonight I'm just gonna go through calmly by myself and look through my phone at what they recorded and what was there and see how I felt in those photos because at the end of the day, you wanna choose something that you really want. And I found that I can now understand why maybe some brides go into a bridal salon alone for the first time just to kind of get a vibe of what direction they wanna go before they bring someone with them. And I can understand that because my default operating system will automatically have me come out, look at myself in the mirror and be like, oh my gosh, I'm a bride in this dress. And then turn to my crew and say, what do you think? And try to absorb all of their emotions. And I think that a lot of us are just like that. And thankfully I had just the best crew ever who were giving me amazing feedback, positive feedback, allowing me to say what I thought at first, asking me good questions. Um, but I really do value their opinion and definitely bring people with you who bring a positive energy, who want to be there, who are supportive of you and just want you to be so, so happy despite what they might picture you in. And also maybe if you have enough time and you do have your crew with you, give them at least one dress, have them go shopping as well with you and say, okay, will you try this dress on please? Because that would just be the dream to be able to pick your best friend's wedding dress, but also just be able to see them in something that maybe they pictured you in. So to wrap this up, to wrap this seven minute to eight minute chat up, I would say an amazing experience. The Modern Bride was so beautiful and I can't wait to try on more dresses. I really feel like this first experience was amazing to try to figure out the line of what I really want. And I don't wanna be one of those people that just tries on a million dresses and never figures out the one she wants. No, this one was basically just to really figure out what direction I wanna go until I find the one. And I definitely made a bunch of decisions on what I definitely don't want, and what I definitely do want. And if you are also searching for your dress, I hope that you give yourself the opportunity, the space, the love to have that chance to just try things on and go for it and feel like a bride and just have some fun with friends and maybe your mom or, or your aunt or your sister or whoever you choose to bring with you. It's so exhausting. <laughs> I'm gonna wash my face, I'm gonna go to bed and I am going to wrap up this little spiel. I hope you guys are doing well and I'll see you tomorrow. I don't know. <laughs> I will see you tomorrow. Hello, my friends. I am not alone and it's okay that I'm videoing because I am in the passenger seat because my mom's here. We are heading to our second bridal apartment appointment. So based on the chat that I had with you that you would have just seen, that was a week or a week and a half ago about just like bridal overwhelm and things like that. And mom and I were just talking about how I feel like I'm just going to be so much more prepared this time knowing what I'm going for. One, I'm wearing Spanx. Two, I brought nipple covers. I heard this tip off of TikTok. Mom is also on wedding TikTok, always sending me the wedding tips. <laughs> but yeah, I heard it from a, a past bridal consultant where she's like, if this is gonna make you feel more comfortable, do that. So I brought both of those things, so I'll let you know whether that actually works out or not. Like, specifically if the nipple covers will even stay on or not, I'm sure they're just like gonna go flying and then it'll be like a nipple pepperoni going across the floor. Anyways, um, I picked up a caramel macchiato as well as a pumpkin spice for Rebecca. We are currently in the drive-thru for Tim's for mom. Her pick your po poison and um, we're gonna go pick up Rebecca and head downtown Toronto for a lot of the bridal appointments I think you'll also notice so this time I don't have all the girls coming with me and that is only because all of the COVID protocols have changed so a lot of salons they'll only allow you to have three max and they literally say two preferred so that's something to know when you're going to your appointment okay I literally remembered one more thing one second my mom has to order her tips <laughs> let's hear her order <laughs> Hi, could I get a BDM cappuccino? So cute. So one thing that I also want to note for this appointment that I found really valuable past the last one, because the last one, as you would have seen, was me just trying on 
a ton of different types of dresses, which I definitely recommend because you get to nix the things you don't like, figure out what you do like. But for this one, in their little web portal, I got to go on and pre-select, like look at a lot of the selections that they already had and pre-select dresses that I wanted to try on because that's just gonna help the consultant obviously save time in your appointment because you only have an hour to an hour and a half per appointment. And she will just pre-select um, many of those dresses if they have them in stock. So definitely check that for wherever you're going. Today we are going to Ferris Boza. So pretty, so these are our winners.